Hello everybody. Uh, this video is going to walk us through the steps of creating our skimmer uh, for our skimmer project. So all you're going to need is, I use these uh, manila folders because they're kind of thicker paper. If you had a really thick card stock that would work as well. Um, regular paper and construction paper would probably still be too soft. You want something that's definitely kind of firm to it. Um, now this is kind of the entire folder. We actually only need half of it. Um, so if you open it up and you cut it kind of down the middle here, you will only need one side. It doesn't matter which side you use. So I have that here. So I already cut mine. So I just have, it's not really a folder anymore. You'll need, so something, some sort of thick paper. You're going to need a ruler and then a pencil with kind of a good tip on the end of it. So either sharpen it or have a pencil that um, kind of a thick, sharp end at the tip at the end. Um, so also we are using, this is from our Project Lead the Way curriculum, so I have kind of the uh, multi-view sketch for what we're creating today. Uh, we have all of our measurements that we're going to be doing in this top view, and then this view is what it's going to look like once it is assembled. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so it doesn't matter at the top of the file folder like what sort of tabs you have up here if you have one or two or you know it's here or here that doesn't matter we're actually going to end up cutting that off. Um, so the first thing I like to do is I'm just going to kind of go on the left side here down past this kind of curvy corner about half of an inch um, doesn't exactly matter I'm just going to put a little mark there and that's going to be our starting point because the first measurement we're going to need to do is we need to make our skimmer be about four inches tall. Um, so as a reminder, remember we don't, zero is not the end of our ruler, zero is going to be this first line right here. So we always want to try to line that mark up with zero so we can get some very precise measurements. I'm going to go down and I'm going to put a second mark right at four inches. Uh, we don't need to draw a line on this side because we're using the side of our folder to make a nice straight line. So I just kind of made a generic starting mark and then measured out exactly four inches down that side and put a second mark. Okay. The next step is we want our skimmer to be about 11 inches long. So I'm going to line up my ruler with my very first mark and we're gonna work on making this 11 inches long. Uh, one kind of trick I found that helps um, prevent your ruler from being like crooked is if you line up this line on the top and then also this kind of first line down here in the bottom, if you line those up with your line or in this case kind of the edge of the um, paper or the folder here, that usually gets our ruler into a nice straight place. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just measure, draw a line 11 inches long. Now, I rarely will just draw it all in one. I find sometimes my ruler moves. So what I like to do is I'm going to kind of hold my ruler down tight with my left hand since I'm right-handed. Uh, when I get about halfway, sometimes a third of a way, I'm going to kind of just readjust. Okay, I'm trying to keep that ruler in the same place, but this allows me to kind of move my left hand here so that I can hold the ruler down tight. And then I'm going to go slow. So I want to make sure I get exactly 11 inches, okay? So that's my first line. You do not need to label these. I'm going to label them right now so you have kind of that visual. Um, so that first line I drew is 11 inches. You'll notice that it did not go the entire length of my folder here, and that was expected. The next measurement we're going to do is we're, I'm going to turn my paper. We're going to measure another four inches at the end of the line that we just drew. So this is that, that 11 inch line that I drew. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm going to line up my ruler carefully and then I'm going to go down four inches. I'm not gonna draw the line yet. Um, I'm just actually gonna put a little mark right there. And the reason I do that is I wanna draw my next 11 inch line first and that mark will now help me line that up. Um, so because basically I did my first 11 inch line and we were hoping that it was nice and straight. This time when we do that 11 inch line we have kind of our start and our end sort of mark here. Now this mark here might be a little bit off but the way it helps 
is that when I line up my rulers, if I focus on lining up at zero here on the left to begin with, okay, I know that if I also balance my ruler to that mark, you can see my mark is just a little past 11, and that's okay. Um, I'll just stop my line at 11, but it helps me keep my ruler nice and straight. I'm going to go ahead and draw that 11 inch line. Okay, making sure, stop right at 11. Okay. And then if you ever go a little bit long, you can always take your eraser and kind of just erase a little bit of that. Um, one thing I encourage is always double checking your measurements. So I'm going to go ahead and measure this one a second time just to make sure I did it correctly. And that looks pretty good. Okay. Um, never be afraid of erasing or redoing a line if needed. The next line I'm going to do is now I'm going to draw this four inch line over on this side, connecting my two 11 inch lines. It's another good chance to kind of remeasure. Okay, are they still four inches apart? Mine are still good, so I'm going to connect those. Okay, and we now have the outside of our skimmer body. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding in kind of some fold lines and some of the cut lines that we have. So looking at our diagram here, so, so far we've done the 11 inches by the 4 inches. Again, you don't have to write those numbers. I'm just writing those to help you out. Uh, now we're going to do some of these inside lines. So how I like to do these is I see that they, we need kind of this half inch kind of rectangle in here on the top and on the bottom. So I'm going to start by just marking my half inches. I always like to use little marks first and then do lines second. So for this one, I'm going to line my ruler up kind of at my original side where our rectangle's on the edge. I don't put my ruler to the edge though because I want to have space. I'm just going to mark at the half inch because that would be, since this line is at zero, a half inch away would be a half inch. And then coming from this side, since our line's at four, a half inch away would be at the three and a half. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I just have those two little marks there. Um, they're both a half inch in from our outside lines. Okay, so just put a little marks. I'm gonna twirl my paper around. Let's do the exact same thing on this other side. So I'm gonna line my ruler up carefully. Okay, and then I'm going to mark at the half inch because that's a half inch away. And then I'm gonna mark at the three and a half inch because it's also another half inch away. Okay, so just a half inch in. Now that we have all of those marks, what we can do is we're going to take our ruler and we're going to line up the two marks on the top of our rectangle here. And we are going to connect these with a dotted line to start with. Now, the entire line isn't supposed to be dotted, but I'll show you what we're going to do in a moment. So I'm just going to kind of do little dashes, kind of pick up my pencil, kind of create a dotted line all the way through. I still want to use my ruler because that's how I make sure I get a nice straight dotted line versus kind of a crooked one all the way down. All right, and then, so that's my dotted line. I'm gonna twirl my paper around and do the exact same thing on this side. Okay, line up those marks and then make a dotted line. Okay, and notice that I'm not lining up at zero for my ruler this time, okay? Um, you can see it here because since we're just making a dotted line, we're not measuring right now, we're just using the ruler to get a nice straight line. Okay, so just kind of line up those marks, pick up your pencil as you go, make another dotted line. Okay, so we have those dotted lines which are going to be fold lines, but if we look carefully at kind of our directions here, um, we do want kind of two sections in here is which is where we're going to cut a three inch slit Okay, so we are going to put that three inch. We're going to make those be a solid line now Which I am going to line up my ruler carefully here on the left side um, So starting right at zero here because now when I go to do the three inches okay, I can cover up my dotted line, okay, with a solid line, 
Now one thing I noticed is I had a little dash there, so I'm going to erase a little bit of that line. And then I'm going to double check that it's exactly three inches. That it is. Okay. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing down here on this dotted line. Again, we're over here on the side where our rectangle's on the edge. Okay, line up just at zero. And then let's do solid line to three inches. Good. Looks like that. So we're going to be cutting on those lines eventually. And then the last step for this kind of section is we're going to add a dotted line between the ends of those solid lines. So I'm basically taking my ruler, I'm going to line it up right at the ends of the solid lines, and then I'm just going to do a dotted line in between. Okay, so it kind of looks like that. that one. Okay. Um, so that's the main body of our skimmer. Now we are going to continue on and draw out our fins and our air scoop. Alright, so I'm just going to slide down here. Uh, we're going to draw everything on here at once so that you can color it later and then um, cut it out, fold it, and make it at the end or the last step. So our fins, we're going to make two of these fins, okay? Um, they are going to be three inches by three inches here. They have a little half inch flat part and then kind of connected. So it's not actually a triangle, kind of looks like one. But we're going to start off, we're going to kind of use this corner of our folder to get some nice straight lines. So I'm actually going to, actually let's turn it this way. I find it a little bit easier sometimes when I do it this way. Um, so I'm just going to kind of along the edge of that folder, let's line up at zero, and then I'm just going to mark three inches to start with. Okay, so you can see there's a little gap between those, which is fine. Okay, so I'm just marking three inches on that edge. Okay. Again, you don't have to write that number. I'm just writing that in there for you. I'm going to turn this paper again, and we're going to do three inches along the bottom. Because of the way I have my ruler this time, you'll notice that instead of lining up my zero, I'm going to line up here at three inches, and then I'm going to go mark at the zero because those would be three inches apart. So basically I have two marks here that are both kind of three inches away from its corner. That's what we want. Then I need to do a half inch. So I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to kind of line up the half inch mark right here on the edge of my paper. And then I'm going to go mark at zero. Okay. And we actually can make that line right away too while we're over here. Okay. So I do a little half inch line right there and then let's turn our paper this way do a half inch here okay. and then last but not least we're going to connect these two half inch pieces together I find that maybe a little bit easier since I'm right handed um, turn it this way, kind of, you're not measuring on your ruler, just trying to line up those points. Get a nice straight line just like that. Okay, so three inches, three inches, and then like a little half inch, and then just kind of connect with the diagonal there. We are going to do the exact same thing over here in the other corner of our folder. I like to make these fins in the corners because I think it helps you with those nice straight lines, and it's a little bit less to cut. So let's go over here. We're going to do the exact same thing again. Um, so I'm going to start off by finding three inches from the corner. Okay. Again, you can see I'm lined, my folders lined up with the three. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to mark at the zero. Okay. Not the end of my ruler, but that little first line. We got three inches that way. Okay. Let's do three inches going this way. Just use those little marks. Let's maybe do, so I have my ruler this way. Let's do the half inch up here. Okay, try to line that up real well. Half inch. Okay, again, I lined up the half inch with the outside and then I drew my line to that zero. Let's do the same thing right here. Line up my half inch. zero and then let's connect 
goes with a diagonal line. I find if I put my pencil down right where I want it to start first, and then I can kind of set my ruler against that, and then I can kind of angle the ruler until it looks like it's going to get right to the perfect spot on the other one. Cool. All right, so there's my other fin. Uh, the last thing we need to draw is our air scoop. Okay, so I'll show you this. Um, this diagram should be in Google Classroom as well so that you can see all the measurements that I've been doing. Uh, but we did our main body, we just did our two fins. Okay, you wanna make sure it only shows one on here, but it does tell us two, that's why we did two. And now we are going to do our air scoop. All right, so for the air scoop, a couple notable measurements. Um, the inside square of our air scoop is going to be like a three by three inch square. We're gonna add on a three eighths of an inch here and three eighths of an inch here. But at the top, there's only gonna be an extra one eighth. So we're gonna wanna make sure we know how to measure those. So we're gonna come here to this kind of middle section. And the first thing I want to do is I'm just going to make sure, okay, wherever my three inches is, make sure you have space to the left and to the right. Okay, we're trying to make it all fit on this one page. So I'm gonna start by just marking the three here for the three inches and then the zero here so that I get that three inches in between both of those. Three inches, that's the bottom. And then we're going to do three eighths coming off of those, okay? So I'm gonna line up with my mark here and I know that eighths is not the shortest uh, tick on my ruler, but the one a little bit longer. Zoom in a little bit for you. Uh, we also know that uh, one eighth is the same as two sixteenths. So if I count two of those little lines, that's one eighth, two eighths, three eighths out here. Okay, so if you need help with that ruler work, just let somebody know. Um, but Basically, three eighths is the same as six sixteenths. So if I count six of those little notches, that's three eighths. We're going to do the exact same thing over here on this side. Uh, this time, because again, with me being right-handed, I'm just going to line up one, two, three, four, five, six, my three eighths with that little notch. And then I'm going to go mark the zero. If you want to, you can always turn your paper around and you could have started at zero and then gone and marked that three eighths. Okay, it's totally up to you and kind of what your preference tends to be. Now, we know that we want this air scoop to be three inches tall. And so what we're going to do is this, the farthest outside points, they don't really go straight up. So I'm gonna go back to those inside points. Probably should have done these first, but we'll make it work. Um, I'm gonna go up three inches to kind of make this inside square and then we'll get those diagonal lines going from there. So I'm using these two inside little marks. Okay, I should have done this earlier. I did this a little out of order, I apologize. I'm going to nicely line up. I'm gonna maybe turn this to make it a little bit easier. Okay, I'm gonna line up my three inches with the edge of my folder. And then I'm just gonna start by putting a little mark there and then we do want to fold on this line, so I'm going to do a dotted line right away since we have a ruler here. Okay. So again, that was the, we have two inside marks. That's what we're doing these on. You're leaving the outside ones alone for right now. Let's go do the same for this next mark, okay? Trying to nicely line that up so your ruler's nice and straight. I'm gonna put a little mark first and then do a dotted line. Down to there. Okay. And then hopefully if we've done nice straight lines, when we go to measure this between those two dotted lines should be three inches, which mine is, which means I have nice straight lines. If they're not three inches up there at the top, I would definitely encourage you to erase and kind of redo those. Um, so that's going to be kind of the, the, the fold lines there. We still need, according to our diagram here, we need a little one eighth inch piece here, which isn't a very big piece, but it's worth putting on there. So from my dotted line, I'm going to go over and I'm going to just do, go ahead and do a solid line already. Just an eighth of an inch 
reminder that an eighth of an inch is two sixteenths, so I know it's just one, two of those little lines over. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, I'm going to line up my dotted line with that one eighth and draw my line out to zero. And then I'm actually, so I did just a little one eighth line there, but now we can connect those lines. So let's connect to the other one. So you'll see that line goes just a little bit past the dotted lines on both sides. And last but not least is going to be connecting the very edge of that line down to those 3 8 inch marks that we had down here. Do that on both sides. And then that is all the pieces of our skimmer. Okay, I'm just going to double check. Uh, we've got 4 by 11. We have a solid line here, dotted line here, dotted line here, which we did create up there. On our fins, there are not any dotted lines, and we definitely got our half inch kind of edges, three inches in diagonal, and then our air scoop. We did the three inch here in the middle. We did the three eighth of an inch off to the side. We did the one eighth of the inch up here. We got two dotted lines in there, which we need. So we have everything we need. At this point is when you could, if you would like to color your skimmer, or kind of add some decoration to it, you can. Uh, definitely make sure you can still see all of your dotted and solid lines. We'll need those when we're cutting this out and folding it. Uh, but the next step is to decorate it and then to work on cutting it out and folding it. But I'm going to make a separate video showing you how to cut it out and how to fold it. So thanks, guys. Let me know if you have any questions.